about baptism, right? That is a good question. Why do women have good questions and the men come with foolishness? Matthew chapter 3, give me baptism. Give me, give me Matthew 3 about the people being to jump. The book of Matthew chapter 3. Listen, come, 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 sister. Yes, listen. If he had the truth, he would have been out here teaching way before us. Listen. In verse 1, in those days, John, excuse me, John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, Repent ye, just, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Verse 3, but this is he that is spoken of by the prophet Isaiah, saying, Verse 11, come on. I indeed baptize you with water unto repentance. But he that cometh after me is mightier than I, whose shoes I am not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Ghost and with fire. You know what the fire is? We read it earlier. What is the fire that Peter spoke of? Destruction. Death. That's the fire Christ is going to baptize everyone. Hold on, listen to it. Verse 12, whose span is in the head. I want to part that the people came confessing their sins. John was in the wilderness, and the people came unto him. Bear with me a second. Matthew 3 and 6. 3 and 6. I can't even see it. Book of Matthew chapter 3 verse 6. And were baptized of him in Jordan, confessing their sins. Sister, listen good. Matthew 3 and 6. And were baptized of him in Jordan. Confessing their sins. What is sin? Because y'all were baptized, right? Y'all were both baptized? You were baptized? Did you confess your sins? What is sin? You see? You see? You see? What is a reproach? What is that? What does that mean? Reproach. I don't understand. You see? you see? What I want you to see what the church does, I, I was the same way. We use words we don't understand. We say, is it a reproach? What does that mean? I don't know. I'm going to show you what sin is. I'm going to show you what sin is. The book of 1 John, chapter 3 and verse 4. Whosoever committed sin, transgressed also the law. For, the, for sin is the transgression of the law. When you break God's law, that's sin. So when you go back to Matthew 3, watch this. Come on, pitch stay with me. The book of Matthew, chapter 3, verse 6. And was baptized unto him in the Jordan confessing their sins. So they were saying, before they went into the water, they said, Lord, I'm an a adulterer, a liar, a thief. All these things, they had to know God's laws before they were baptized. Y'all were not taught God's laws, so guess what? That thing, y'all dipped in water means nothing. It don't wash away nothing. Watch this. First Peter 3 and 21. What don't do nothing? What I'm about to show you now is a mystery in the earth about baptism. Come on. Listen, young man, hey, 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 I want you to listen to you. The book of 1 Peter, chapter 3, verse 21. The life figure where on to even baptism does also now save us. So Peter says baptism does save you. Let's see what kind of baptism he's talking about. Not putting away of the filth of the flesh. What takes away the filth of my flesh? What can I use to get the dirt off my arm? Water. Read it again. The life figure whereon to even baptism does also now save us. So baptism does save us. Not putting away of the filth of the flesh. Water baptism does not save you because that puts away the filth of the flesh. Peter says the water cannot save you. But the answer of a good conscience towards God. What gives us a good conscience toward God? Repenting of our sins. When you go to the Lord and say, Father, forgive me of being a liar, an adulterer, a thief, a homeowner, a cocksmith. Me? By the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So water baptism does nothing for you. So every one of you baptized people out here, it did nothing for you. The white man played a trick on you like he did throughout the earth. Because the Bible says the water cannot save you. Was Jesus Christ baptized? Wait, wait, let me rephrase my question. Did Jesus Christ baptize anyone in water? No. That is my question. You say no? No. Who agrees with him? John chapter 4. Listen. Listen. 
the book of St. John, chapter 4 and verse 2. When, the, when therefore the Lord knew how the Pharisees had heard that Jesus made and baptized more disciples than John, though Jesus himself baptized not. Jesus Christ baptized not. Meaning what? Jesus Christ never baptized nobody in water. He never did. Why? Because Christ knew what was more important. It was obedience was more important than the water. The water baptism was symbolic of what John was doing. That's why Christ, he never baptized. He got baptized. Why? Because the people exalted water baptism so high. So Christ said, okay, I'll do it. John said, Lord, you should baptize me. Christ said, no, you baptize me. Suffer it for now. So Christ was dipped in the water and came up again. But after that, he never put nobody in the water. Peter was not baptized in water. Paul was not baptized in water. John was not. So what, it was all wicked? No. What makes us clean in our heart? John 15 and 3, please. John 15, verse 3. What makes us clean in our hearts? It's not water. The book of St. John, chapter 15 and verse 3. Now, ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Okay, you got a little trip, sister? I want you to stay in contact with us, all right? You call us, we'll call you. Why? Because this is a new day for our people here in Jamaica. This condition, this health condition, it must end. Just like the condition of people in America, it's just like this. And we're making change there, we're going to make change here. But we need you brothers to stand up and be obedient to God's laws. That's what God is looking for. Each man to stand up as a leader to keep God's laws. Each woman to support the man in the keeping and obedience of God. Yes. Wait, 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 wait. You got a lot of questions. What have you learned today? What have you learned? I learned that um, Jesus um, black and black and black and black What about women wearing pants? And women wearing pants. What about? Is it right or wrong? So now I'll answer your question. Very good. See, you've been learning and listening. See these young ones. I like the young ones. Listen. See, I'm going to answer a question that will come to you. Yes. Oh, the Holy Ghost. Let's identify what the Holy Ghost is. Because in church, they teach you the Holy Ghost is this. What? People say that's the Holy Ghost. That ain't the Holy Ghost. What is that name? That's a demon. That's a demon. Watch this. The tongues you've got out here is not real. It's not. And I'm going to prove it to you. First, give me the Holy Ghost in Acts chapter 7. You got it for me? The book of Acts chapter 7 and verse 51. Ye stiff neck and uncircumcised in heart and ears. Ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. Now we want to find out we're in Acts 7. Let's read it again for us. The book of Acts. Chapter 7 and verse 51. Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. As your fathers did, so do ye. So now, I want you to pay attention. He said, You and your fathers always resisted the Holy Ghost. That's fine, sister. I want you to listen. It's going to tell you what the Holy Ghost did. Verse 52. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain, which I showed before the, of the coming of the just one. Here comes. Of whom you have now betrayed and a murderer. Here comes. Who have received the law by the dispens disposition of angels and have not kept it. So what did our forefathers keep? What did our forefathers reject? Read it again. Who, excuse me, who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. So what did we resist? Read it again, Father. Who have received the law by the disposition of angels and have not kept it. What if we resisted and not kept? The law. So back up the verse 51. Ye stiff necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Holy Ghost. So resisting the Holy Ghost means resisting what? The law. The law. When our people kept the law, especially Moses, we was a mighty race. We subdued all nations. But when we rejected the law, look at us now.
We're in an impoverished state. We're sick. Our bodies are breaking down. Because the Bible, guess what, man? The Bible says you men are gods. We're gods. Give me that. Psalms 86. Remember. You women? This is good. You had a man? You had a good man? He's no good? You had one back in the day. But you never had a man? You ever had a man? He ain't no good or your man is good? Your husband, is he a good man or he not a good man? Okay. Give me that Psalm 86. The book of Psalms, chapter 82 and verse 6. I have said, remember me? Young man, listen to this. I have said, ye are gods, and all of you are the children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men. You see what happens to us? The Bible says we are gods, but you shall die like men. Die like men means we went into slavery. Now we're on the bottom of all races. How do we go from being gods to nothing? Because we broke his commandments. Now we bring out the commandments, how we can fight against it. You want to say a man is right behind court. I don't know about y'all, but I want us to go back to the God. Remember Jesus Christ said, Marvel you that I do such great things. He said, you shall do greater works than I have done. You know what that means? That he's going to give us power in these last days. Power to do what? Subdue all nations. Right. No, no, hallelujah. That all hallelujah means is praise the most high. That's all it means. Hallelujah. That's all it means. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.